Yo, what's up, boys and girls? We're back with more PTS content. And uh, this time, we're going to be checking out Griffin Wing. Griffin Wing is the attack speed uh, earring item, the bobble, if you will. And it gives you 40% more projectile speed at the cost of 15% auto attack damage. I naturally thought Izanami is one of the weirdest gods with... Um, Izanami is one of the weirdest gods with her projectile speed and it going back and forth and like doing weird shit, right? So I wanted to see what would happen with Griffin Wing on her. Now, obviously, Griffin Wing is not going to be your first item ever, really. You're never going to first item it. Um, mainly because it reduces your damage, right? Those reducing your damage baubles like uh, Sphinxes and Griffin Wing, you don't really want to build those straight out the gate. What you do want is... Um, what you do want is a little bit of damage first and then being allowed to lower that damage a little bit just to make sure you're confirming more autos. Now, I'm going to go the route of Gilded Arrow because my plan is to go uh, Crit Chance with Transcendence. So my plan is to basically just hit as hard as fucking possible. And obviously, I'm going to get Aegis against Poseidon because I don't think Izanami's dash is fast enough. And I'm going to put two points in the one. So for right now, it's basically like an even, like it's just a normalized duel. Ouch. Two points in my one. I definitely win this fight. All right. All right. I'm gonna pop some pots. Get the red buff. Let's see. Can I get the red buff here? Yeah, I can. He's low. He's not coming over. I right, grab the three. Just so I can be slightly safe. Are you doing your blue? There could be stalkers. No, you're not. I don't think I'm gonna do his blue. Mainly because I don't want to get Kraken. Because I assume he's going to get the XP of the wave. And then just Kraken the shit out of me. Um, Izanami, as you can see down here by your buff bar. She has no non-conquest changes. If a god does have a conquest or a non-conquest change applied to them. You'll be able to see it on your buff bar. So, so it will be made very obvious to you. If you, uh, if you just pay attention down here. All right, let's see. Oh, he has a Kraken. Jesus, dude, I hit for 90 damage in auto right now. The hell? What does my ult do? 220? Damn it. My wife... <laughs> what the fuck? My auto hits for 90, but my two hits for 60? What the hell? I'm not going to be able to kill him. He's just a Poseidon under tower. I'm just going to go back and get my transcendence. I only play with the most luxurious All right. No, my three. I'm really curious about ability based hunters. Gods like Uller, um, Hoi. He's, he's kind of an ability based hunter. It's a little weird with him, but you know, ability based hunters, Chiron, shit like that. I'm curious if Sphinx's Bobble plus Griffin Wing would be possible. Now, you would be losing a lot of damage. You'd be losing 35... Okay, I'm lagging. You'd be losing 35% damage because 15% from Griffin Wing... Hold on, I want to make sure I get this right, by the way. Yeah, 15% basic attack damage from this. And then 20% damage decrease from this. So... You'd be losing 35% basic attack damage and 20% ability based damage. Oh my god. But I am curious to see if it would be worth it ever. Ooh. Damn it. Okay. What is this? A oh, four stacks of DR. I can go get my transcendence. And I think just for the uh, just for the sake of the video, 
this isn't a build I would really do, right? Like, I don't think I would ever go straight into Griffin Wing, like, just for future reference. But at the moment, I am going to do it. It's only 2,200 gold, and it's 40 physical power, 25% attack speed. So it's got pretty good base stats, but you're going to be losing a bit of that damage from your, your basics. Now, I will say, if you're an ability-based hunter, then you really aren't getting the downside of the of the 15% less damage from basics. Okay, ow. I do a ton of damage. Oh, fuck. Massive, 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 massive. All right, grab the tower if we can. Do 84 damage per auto, so there's no way I don't get the tower here. Come on, come on. Is this up? Oh my god, I just realized he probably is cracking up soon, and I will get absolutely cracking. No, 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 no. Did he run? He did run. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. I hate that on PTS sometimes my auto attack button just doesn't work. So half of the time when I click my auto attack, it doesn't actually even go off. Um, Full transparency. I did join the play tests. Now that, you know, the PTS is out, I'm allowed to talk about it. I did play in the, the play test. And the people that were taught when like, cause I was solo, right? That you were assigned roles and I was solo, but the ADCs, they always built a uh, Griffin wing. And they always said that it felt like hit scan. Like you were never, you were never going to miss your autos as long as you were aiming at them. Kind of like you're using a gun in call of duty. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, I'm going to get beats. Oh my God. Look how fast that is, dude. That's crazy. And the more attack speed you get, the the better it gets. Because the more hit scan there is. And Izanami is a weird edge case where her, her projectile needs to be gone out of the air before, uh, before she throws another auto attack, which is really weird. So with Izanami specifically, the more attack speed I get, the more hit scan this will be. I really don't have to lead with it though, honestly. Like if he's right here, like boop. 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 Yeah, I literally don't have to lead with it. I just make sure I aim at him. No leading. The my my issue is that I try to lead because I'm used to his anami autos. But I I don't need to anymore. I really don't need to. Oh shit, he's gonna go the Bancroft side of him that gives you attack speed now. So for those who don't know, a lot of tier threes or uh, I'm sorry, tier fours, they're called glyphs, right? A lot of the glyphs were moved from some items to other items, right? So like Rod of Tahuti had a glyph on it that gave you attack speed, the more power you had. That glyph then got moved over to Bancroft's, which, you know, if you're a dual degen like I am, immediately thought about Freya starting Bancroft's, starting with that gives you an extra... 10% uh, attack speed for 600 gold. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. And I, don't, I really don't feel like my auto's lost any damage output, by the way. Basic attack damage is reduced by 15%. I don't feel like it has, actually. I don't know. I'm going to have to go more... Oh my god, the hit scan autos are so fucking nice. Like, the projectile speed is so crazy. I'm coming for you. Ouch. It's impossible to miss an auto. It's actually impossible. If you're in range with Griffin Wing, it is impossible to miss an auto. This is crazy. What's my next item, though? I think I'm just going to go Oboe because I want as much attack speed as possible. 
So we'll go grab oboe and then I'll grab like. How much is that? Uh, this has no attack speed on it. What the fuck? I don't want to wait for that. That's so much gold. Oh, he got it, dude. He got the Bancrofts that gives you attack speed. That is going to be. Literally, that's going to be. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, the hit scan auto. I don't have my three up. The hit scan autos. When you have max attack speed is crazy. I mean, I don't even have close to max attack speed, but I have 1.6. Um, yeah, but anyways, what I was saying was most people are going to be starting Bancroft's first item now. They're not even going to be stacking anymore. Like, you literally don't even need to stack anymore in duel. Like, you don't need Book of Thought. You don't need Warlocks. You just go first item Bancroft's. If you're a god that uses auto attacks, obviously. You go first item Bancroft's and... um. You just go ham. He's scared. He's scared. Oh, God. My auto attack button was working. G G man. I got to admit. I got to admit. Griffin wing is just so good actually just so good and i think the reason why griffin wing feels so good is because you're getting 40 physical power and 25 attack speed so even though your basic attacks are dealing 15 percent less damage you don't really feel that effect because the item itself is giving you 40 power increasing your damage by you know roughly 10 to 20 percent so like you're already gonna be canceling out your your own negative effect from this and then just basically having hit scan autos this is a very very good item i think it's it's niche don't get me wrong it's niche and the reason i think it's niche is because if you're great at hitting your autos already obviously you don't need it right <laughs> obviously you don't need it if you're just smacking bitches anyways why take 15 percent reduced damage but on the off chance like me with this anami i end up missing a lot of my autos this helps a lot this really does help. I think you guys should download PTS and try it out yourself. Tell me what you think. These are all those skins, by the way. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Peace!